In this video, we're going to have a look at rotations. A rotation is when a figure is turned around. Here we now have an example where we take the middle or the center of the figure and rotate around that. This means that that center stays in the same position. When having a look at our system of axes, our point that is going to stay constant or in the same position will be the origin and all the shapes will be rotated around that. We are going to focus on three degrees of rotation, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise and 180 degrees. Let's start by having a look at a rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Remember that our origin will be the point that stays in the same position and this shape will be rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise around that point. The image of our triangle will now be positioned here and you can see that it's been rotated 90 degrees. Let's compare the coordinates to see what happened in this rotation. Point A was at 2, 1. Point A prime is now at minus 1, 2. Can you see that the x and y coordinate has been swapped around and that the new x has changed sign? The same happened with B. B was 5, 4, which swapped around to become 4, 5, and the new x of 4 changed sign to minus 4. So for rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise, firstly the x and y coordinates swap around and then the new x changes sign. Let's now rotate this figure 90 degrees clockwise. The image will sit over here and you can once again see that it's been rotated 90 degrees around the origin. Comparing the coordinates, I'm going to have a look at B, which is 5, 4, and our new B double prime is 4, minus 5. So again, the two coordinates swapped around, but this time the new Y coordinate changed sign. You can see that the same happened with A, which was 2, 1. This swapped around to become 1, 2, and the new Y value changed sign. Lastly, we're going to have a look at a rotation of 180 degrees and here the direction of rotation doesn't matter as both of them will give you the same image. If we have a look at what happened to the coordinates, we can start looking at A which is 2, 1 and A triple prime is minus 2, minus 1 which means both coordinates changed sign. The same happened to C, which was 6, 2, and changed to minus 6, minus 2. So, for a rotation of 180 degrees, both coordinates change sign. Example 1. Give the coordinates of the image in each of the following. A is the point 5, minus 3 that rotates 90 degrees anticlockwise. So here you need to know that for rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise, firstly, the image will be formed by swapping around the two coordinates and having minus 3, 5. But then also for rotation anti-clockwise, the new x value will change sign and therefore be positive. In B, we rotate the point 180 degrees. For this you need to know that the image will simply be the original coordinate but with the signs of both changing and now both will be positive. Example 2. Describe the transformation from C to C prime. Firstly you need to recognize that the two coordinates were swapped around and that this minus 7 stayed constant but the y coordinate of minus 4 now became positive. This means this is a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. Example 3. In the sketch is triangle DEF. Sketch triangle DEF prime 
the image of DEF after a rotation of 180 degrees around the origin. For this rotation, you need to know that the sign of both coordinates have to change. So, starting with D, which is minus 4, 4, it will change to plus 4, minus 4. Next up, point E's minus 4, 1 changes to 4 and minus 1. And then point F, which is minus 1, 1, changes to 1, minus 1. And now we can draw the image that was formed from the rotation. Here you can see that these two triangles once again have the same shape and size and are therefore congruent. So now we know that a translation, reflection and rotation keep the shape and size of the original figure. In the next video we're going to have a look at enlargements which as the word already says will change the size of the figure.